school psychologists have launched a campaign to ban smacking, claiming it's harmful to children's mental health. At a TUC conference today, they've been calling for the law to change. Corporal punishment is currently banned in schools, but parents can smack a child so long as it's deemed reasonable chastisement. We're now joined by John Druitch uh, from the Association of Educational Psychologists and Dr Stuart Waiton, who's a university criminologist and the author of Scared of the Kids, Curfews, Crime and the Rep Regulation of Young People. Gentlemen, a very good afternoon to both of you. Uh, John Druitch, if I can start with you, I was trying to tally earlier on how many times we've had this debate. I got to about half a dozen, so it's a pretty perennial one. Why does it seem an urgent one to you? I don't think it's so much a question of it being urgent, but uh, it does seem that England in particular is kind of being left behind within the UK. We've got uh, Scotland, which is already on the um, road to Im implementing legislation, and uh, Wales are consulting on it. Um, it's been on the agenda um, of legislation for, and government legislation for uh, quite a number of years now but uh, it doesn't appear to be making much progress. So we did feel that uh, this was an opportunity to raise the issue again, um, and hopefully with the support of the TUC that um, we, can, uh, we can start the uh, whole uh, process moving again. OK, Stuart Wayton. Stuart, other countries are doing it, so should England. Yeah, it's very worrying. Um... I mean, it does worry me to say this is school psychologists. They must have a very negative view of parents if they think that. See, in, in Scotland, the law, if you can see my hand, that will now be a crime in Scotland if this passes, which hopefully it won't, because I think, well, it, it, it's the case that the vast majority of people in Scotland don't agree with it. And we get, seem to be having a situation where apparently liberal professional people are increasingly criminalising aspects of everyday life. In fact, I'm, I, I, that's my, I, I'm trying to write a book at the minute called The Criminalisation of Everything, and every day I have a new example of this. So basically loving parents who care for their children, who lightly tap their hand, will soon be seen as criminal. The, the man who's introducing this bill in Scotland, John Finney, accepts that he himself smacked his children, and yet he says it's the same as uh, domestic violence. So I, I, I'm wondering whether... Perhaps retrospectively, we should arrest John Finney <laughs> for being a child abuser. It, it's um, completely, it's, it's yeah. just so, it's so divorced from common sense and, and okay. people's everyday reality. Well, let's try, let's try and unpick it a little bit. Uh, John Druitch, I'm looking at this quote from Mary Bowsted, who, you know, we've interviewed many times here from the National Education Union. Uh, quote, we need to ensure that children are legally safeguarded in their own homes. How do we set about doing that? We need to define what the crime is, and then the, we, we need to prosecute the crime. How do we prosecute a crime in the home? A parent smacks a child. Presumably, the child will be called upon to denounce their own parents, or it's or we back to cameras. Tell me how this would work. Uh, that's certainly not the intention that we have in raising this issue. I think our main concern is that th this is about changing attitude. So it's tokenistic. It's about sending out a signal. That's, that says not an not a, not a intention to be criminalising parents or... Right. So, or it's, so just, to be sort of just, John, just to be clear, parenting it's, it, police it's, force. it's sending out a signal. It's not, it's not a real change in the law. It's signalling a, 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 an intention, a good behaviour in your mind. Well, it is a change in the law because it's a change that would remove a loophole in the law that removes the excuse, if you like, of reasonable punishment uh, to justify violent yeah. behaviour against children. But you, you're not talking yeah. about a tap on the hand. Right. So, but help me with that definition, John, if you could. Help me with the definition. Where's the line that... that just so parents know, if they're worried about going to prison or receiving a hefty fine for smacking their child, something which generations of parents have done, where's the line? Stuart ably demonstrated a, a, ta a gentle tap on the back of his hand. Where is it? Uh, well, I don't think that one can draw an absolute line on these things, and a lot depends on the individual circumstances. And we certainly wouldn't anticipate that, as a result of any change in legislation, that um, lots of parents uh, would be facing criminal charges. But what we're looking at is to send 
a message to parents who feel that they still need to rely on physical punishment to manage their children's behaviour, that there are other ways of doing it and that it's not something that society in general and the government in particular approves of. OK. Um, All and right. It's also let, so let me just put some of that to Stuart. Uh, in, a, in a public forum. Yeah, yeah. OK. Stuart, wait, what, what do you make of that? It's not... It, it's a change in the law, but we're not planning on sending anybody to prison unless they've been really naughty. I mean, it's happening all the time at the minute. There's, there are laws being introduced where they say, this is a law, but it's not really a law. We're, quick, we're, we're making it a crime, but it's not really a crime. Uh, I mean, if people want to make a, have a message, start a campaign, right? make arguments, make, have articles in, in, the, in the press. You don't send the police around. You don't create laws. It's like constantly now we're creating law after law after law, making things that as part of most people's everyday experience, criminal. And I think we have to start asking a few questions about these ex experts. You know, if these ex experts really believe that smacking a child on the hand is a form of violence that emotionally damages them, I think we really have to start asking, how credible are these experts? You know, seriously, how credible are they? You know, do, do, we know right, that, right? Have I just self-harmed? Am I abusing myself if I did that to a child? Uh, that happened yeah. to me as a child. Am I scarred for Stuart, life? I, think I, I, I don't want to speak for John. It Stuart, makes, I don't want to speak for John, but no I, I, sus sense. I suspect he might say, well, hang on a minute, that's not what we're talking about. We're in danger of trivialising serious domestic abuse, well, that, which does that, happen. That is what we're talking about in Scotland. That, that is what we're talking about. Yeah. Any use of physical chastisement will be deemed a crime, and any form of violence is equated with domestic violence and equated with violence against adults. That is it's what's happening. And it's what uh, John also just said. They talked about this as a form of violence yeah. against children. Is, that is exactly the argument that's being made. And it's, it's, it confuses the distinction between adults and children. It also undermines parents' authority. And it puts across this idea that we need experts all the time to help us parent, which is simply not true. What, what do you say to that, John? Parents can't be trusted. Leave it to the state. Well, not at all. We don't... Uh, we don't uh advocate or, or support that attitude. Um, the, the issue is about finding ways to support parents who perhaps feel that they have to rely on some form of physical means of punishment of children to, to look for other ways to do it and also to encourage government to actually put in place support services that will provide that information and that advice to parents from uh, all, all these experts um, to, to enable them to adopt different uh, methods of, of child management, particularly for children whose behaviour is difficult to manage and who may come in for an awful lot of physical punishment uh, because parents find that they've got no other means of, of dealing with it and oh, believe that okay. that's the way they should do it. Guys, I've got to leave it there, I'm afraid. John Druich and Stuart Waiton, thanks both very much. Thanks a lot.